Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing and I'm sat here today at the Burton Street Gym in Sheffield, Sheffield Boxing Centre or SBC with the one and only Glyn Rhodes MBE, Boxing Royalty. So how are you doing Glyn? Doing very well. Doing very, very well. Uh, come and see you. A uh, little bit tired after getting back on what day today, I don't even know what day we got back. We got by, back in gym Saturday morning after being at Normandy. We took uh, nine people from here to visit uh, World War II uh, monuments and D-Day thing and we, we had a good time. And although we're a boxing gym, we still like to try and educate kids. So like I said, we took a bunch of kids to Normandy and we had a good time. We, we did have a good time. How did you get there, Glenn? Uh, we had a call, minibus and Matt Moy drove all the way there. Road trip. All the way back. All, all the way around northern France, and then when we were coming back, almost home, some idiot in a white van nearly wrote us off. No. Uh, but yeah, we drove all the way there, all the way back, all around France while we were there, northern France, and we've had a good time. But like I'm a bit tired, a bit tired, so. But no, everything's good. Everything's good in gym and more. I'm looking forward to being back in gym this week, actually. Mm. Just over three weeks to Tommy and Keenan and Kane's fight at yeah. Sheffield, so I'm looking forward to that. Mm. Uh, it's a now, isn't it? It's here. You know, we've got a couple of weeks left, and it's countdown week, and then we're on it. So, mm. fingers crossed, everything goes all right. Um, and it's going to be a good night. I'm looking forward to it, you know. Uh, well, again, I keep telling people, you know, Tommy Frank, top in building his own town. Uh, how good is that for a young kids? It's brilliant, isn't it? You know, 10, yeah. ten fights, and he's top in building again. Super flyweight, Tommy, isn't it? Super flyweight. Super flyweight, 25 year old, 10 and 0. 10 and 0. Top in build, and he's defending his belt in his back garden. Mm -hmm. Hey, I never, I think I top build myself a couple of times in Sheffield, but not, no way like Pons Forge. Um, so, you know, I take my hat off to him. Pons Forge, top in build. How good is that? He's uh, took it all in his stride, uh, Super Tommy, hasn't he? You think? Yeah, he's a good kid. Yeah, he works hard, he trains hard, he's a good role model, he's a great kid to have in gym, he's been here since we were a baby. Uh, so, I'm really proud of what we've done with Tommy. He's just one of these kids that he's not come from another gym and, and, and arrived here. And we're taking the cream. He's been here since since day one, all the way through the amateurs. Been here since we were ten, aren't he? Since we were ten. Same as Keenan, Tommy, she, all them guys. Phil Kidd, Phil, Phil, Phil K, Lee Edwards, Carl Wilde. We've all come through from being babies. We're not. Is that why they call it a cult, Glenn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's brainwashing, but, but in a good way. Um, yeah. But barely get us that pal. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 you know. It, from my point of view, it's a good thing to, you know, make the old journey with a kid, you know, from amateurs right through to pro. So, mm. yeah, I'm proud of all. Go on. Did you, uh, moving on from that, did you watch the boxing at the weekend, Glyn? I did. The uh, Leeds show and the I Vegas saw, show? Yeah. What um, did you think to the Leeds show? From what I saw, there were some good fights on the undercard. The main event, Darren Tetley won, didn't he? Yeah, the uh, Zelfa Barrett. Zelfa Barrett. Good fight. Uh, that was a good fight, that one, it, Zelfa Barrett. Shane Hughes, so much calling. JJ Metcalf. JJ Metcalf. Lovely body shot. Yeah, he was good. He top of the. Bill. He'll win a world title in the record. He's, don't a, good, he's, a, good, he's yeah, got a good yeah. brain on him. And you know what? Doesn't he look exactly like his dad? Yeah. He looked very good. Like twins. He won't fought Mickey Ward. Mickey Ford. Yeah, yeah. Mickey Ward. Mickey yeah, yeah, Ward. Yeah. On the undercard to Nas. We were there that night. Nobody did a Mickey Ward back then. Barry Earnshaw, wasn't it that? Was it Barry Earnshaw? Mickey Ward, oh, wasn't it? Back know. in day. Back in day. In London. Liverpool kid, isn't he, Shane? Yeah, yeah. Shane. Yeah. yeah, Shane's from Liverpool. I don't think that's his real name, but I don't know where Shane yeah. from. But yeah. He was good. The show was good. Like I said, the top of the bill. Uh, we all thought it was going to be a bit more of a, uh, I don't know, I, I, I never thought it was going to be a classic. So, the crew just walked in, superstar himself. I never thought it was going to be a classic because Styles Tommy. made fights. Tommy, 10 minutes early. Yeah, 10 yes, minutes early. Exactly. Super Tommy! Hey, man, right, Come on, Tommy. Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Tommy. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. We thought we'd do one before you get here. Oh, sound. We, we know how you get face on if you're not on them. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy's in every yeah. interview now. I am, I am, I am. No, he, um, the top of the bill, it weren't, weren't a classic. You know, some people thought Barry had got it, some people thought... Who did you think had it? Um, I thought Warrington. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jamie, you know, Jamie Moore did buy three rounds, didn't he? Yeah, I, I didn't actually score the fight. But you're not going to win a world title with them tactics. You know, them mm. tactics don't win a world title. You've got to snatch it from the champion, I think. Mm. Do you think that them tactics were the same as Junior Witters against Tim Bradley? Yeah, Somewhere. well, switch it yeah, in. switch it in. Hopefully, it's going to drive your opponent mad. But if mm. halfway through the and fight, does it drive them badly? Yeah, it's yeah. Some, some fighters. It's all about that foot in it. Yeah. I notice and some fighters that does you knock them off the game a bit, which I think did. Josh, you know, Josh he knocked him out of his game plan. If uh, Barry had come to a fight, that would have been more ideal for Josh. But because of the tactics that Barry were employing, it threw Josh out a little bit, which mm. didn't make for a great fight. Mm. But then tactics, you know, you got, like I said, Junior with the Errol Graham, you know, they're not Ryan. Ryan, they're not pleasing on the eye for a lot of Bomber. Bomber, yeah, it's not pleasing. Johnny Nelson. Johnny Nelson, Ryan, you know, m myself to a certain extent, but yeah. Well, you did you have the Ingle style? Uh, I had the Bomb Graham style. Bomber Graham, because a lot of the people call it the Ingle style, don't they? Lots of people call it the Ingle style, and it did develop into the Ingle style, but the person that started that was Bomber Graham. Yeah. Nobody were boxing like that in Sheffield until Bomber arrived in Sheffield. I said it all the time. Yeah. There were people like Mick Mills, John Kelly, Chris Walker, Lois Stewart, maybe one or two others, and everybody boxed in the conventional way. Hands up, Bomber came along, hands down, slippery, switch in and all that, and everybody's done it ever since, and the rest is history. Yeah, yeah. But I like to call it the Errol Graham style. Brim, Brim perfected it, but it was the Errol Graham style. But it's not pleasing on the eye. No, it no, no. I remember when Errol was at the top of his game, people avoided him, not because they didn't think they'd beat him, but when you've got that style, you don't make for a, you don't make for a uh, crowd pleasing, crowd pleasing, good on the eye to watch. Fight. Promoters lose interest, don't they? Exactly. Like they did Johnny Nelson. Didn't exactly. They? You know, I could understand Ricky Hatton not wanting to box Junior Winter, Winter because it, you know it might have been the same as Barry and uh, Warrington. You think it's a tired old style now, Glenn? You think it's run its course? Yeah, I do. I think, you know, now... Kids are not going to get on, are they, with that style now, it's are all, they? It's all about putting bums on seats. Yeah, yeah. You know, everybody's on these ticket deals now. Yeah, yeah, and if, yeah. You know, it was different back in the day when I was boxing. Brendan used to tell me you're boxing, that was it. Now you've got some tickets and you're getting yeah. paid. Now, it's all ticket deals. So if you've got that style, what's not pleasing on the eye, you're not going to sell a lot of tickets. Whereas Warrington, he's, he's a crash bang Wallock style and he's got a big following. Exciting so, yeah, style. Yeah, right. exciting style. If the other guy engages, which Barry weren't going to engage because he's not, no. he's not that type of fighter, is it? I spoke to Josh Whale uh, a couple of weeks ago and I said he was going to win. Well, he's fought yeah. uh, Imani yeah. uh, Galahad yeah. and, he, and he said to me that. Uh, Technically, Galahad's ten out of ten. Did it? Yeah. He said, and he's not—he's not there to be it. He, yeah. he's, he doesn't engage. Yeah. And yeah. he sort of nullified everything. But I think he nullified his own his own work. He, he took he, yeah. his strengths off in Warrington's, but he didn't capitalise, did he? On, on his mistake. You know, like with Tyson Fury, yeah. he would have took yeah. them strengths off him and then yeah. come back with something because he's got the devil in him. Hasn't yeah. He? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see many occasions where Barry bit down on his gum shield and had a go. Yeah, had a go, yeah. As soon as he got close, it was safe. Barry, it. Yeah, Barry turned him, grabbed him, hold him, which, which. And that might be what cost him. Yeah, but well, it did, didn't it? And it I did. also thought, and a lot of people are saying this, that Phil Edwards, yeah, he bottled it as regards taking a point off, because yeah. he could have had the fight exciting. Yeah. Because Barry would have thought, right, now I've got to bite down on my gum shield. And stop doing and, one and chase it. Yeah. yeah. And it would have been better for a crowd yeah. if Phil Edwards took a point off him about round five because he'd had four warnings by then. I, I was surprised at that with Phil. Yeah. He's not a bad referee. No, no. Uh, yeah. I mean, one of the points I remember Barry had his fist in yeah. Josh's yeah. And he'd already had four warnings up to then. So if the referee had been yeah. a bit stronger, it could have been a better fight. Yeah, maybe Barry would have planted his feet and let his shots go, who knows. And I think he didn't want to take a point off because he didn't want to be seen as Biased, biased. Yeah. Well, to say he's a matchroom FC well, guy, don't they? A referee, a referee shouldn't be biased. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Um, you know, he shouldn't. Tommy, you alright? Go on. Sorry. Yeah. It's it's you're alright, mate. Yeah. Alright. You didn't see camera. We'll let you off. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. But it didn't. It didn't. It didn't gel, did it? Yeah, it didn't gel very which is, good. Which is because they were talking war and going into the trenches, and they went into Meadowall shopping centre, didn't they, together <laughs> holding hands? And I felt for Josh, yeah. his dad and Nick Manners, because they can only do so much with their guy, can't they? That's what he can do. But his fitness won him it, didn't it? Yeah, but if the other guy's not willing to engage, yeah. you know, I remember when um, 
Buster, oh no, Buster, what do you call the guy who boxed Mike Tyson? Buster Douglas. Oh, um, the prison officer. Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher Smith. Bone Crusher boxed Tyson. And all he did is survive and survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tyson, Tyson couldn't get him out Tyson there, couldn't could he? Because if, if a guy comes into the fight and all he's in his mind is surviving, yeah. you're not going to knock him out. Guys get knocked out when they're engaging, when you both yeah. let your shots go. Yeah. If the other guy's not willing to engage, there's not much chance of knocking him out or catching him either. And like I said, perfect example is Bone Crusher Smith against Mike Tyson. That's exactly what happened. Mm. All he had on his mind, Bone Crusher, were you know, not getting knocked out, getting yeah. through to the final bell. And he nullified everything that Tyson did. And I think what Barry did, like nullified everything that Josh did. Yeah. So it wasn't a good fight to no, watch. No, no, it wasn't at all. But, but we, I, I give it to Josh Warrington. You did, did you? Yeah. For, yeah. for work, Ray, chasing yeah. the fight. Fair enough, they were missing. But we were forcing the fight, wasn't it? But he looked like he wanted it, didn't it? And I think, and everybody has their opinion on this, but the only ones that matter were the judges on the night. Yeah. I personally think Kid Galahad, very good technically. Yeah. He needs to go for it a little bit more, and yeah. he could still be at that level. Yeah, but he's in a situation where who's going to want him? Who wants exactly. him? He's like he's in the no needs in club. After that, as regards his style, yeah. his performance, he That's doesn't sell yeah. a ticket. Exactly, right. he doesn't sell tickets. Don't sell tickets. He's not covered his sending glory with the drug test. Exactly. And exactly. the other thing is the antics outside the yeah. ring. Yeah. But to be fair, he's come out with this statement now. We're saying that. He wishes Josh all the best and he's yeah, moving nice, on and all that. Showed a bit class, of class. Seen that on Twitter. That's nice. So that's, that's nice. good, but maybe Anthony Joshua's sending a message out with what he said in, in defeat. And yeah. maybe they're all going to be like that now. I hope they are, because there's no reason now. You know, we're, we're beyond all that pushing yeah, and showing yeah, and yeah. press conference. And they're not going to get a rematch after so that performance, so are just, they? No, nobody wants to see a rematch, would they? But he's saying at the end of his tweet, uh, we'll meet again, but uh, maybe they might meet again when they're both finished. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember uh, on one of Dennis's shows. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Junior Witter towards the end of him and Natan's career, both pushing for the fight. Yeah, you know, they were both pushing for it towards the end of the career. Yeah, yeah and right. it were gone then, wasn't it? Yeah, they don't have a belt lost. each, did they? People have lost interest by then. A so. bit like Kellen Kamir Khan. No. Who interest. wants to see that now? I won't go to watch that, would you? Nobody's interested. Nobody's no interested. No no has gone down a different route. So where's that leave Ken? He's in no man's land, land, isn't he? Have you heard anything? Has he got anything coming up? I'm not going to speak on oh. camera. <laughs> well, I, you know, he might not be fighting for a bit. <laughs> Ooh, who's heard anything about Kel lately? Uh, he missed he missed the yeah. fight boat with Khan. Yeah, he missed the boat. Uh, yeah. yeah, so but he missed the boat when Dennis and I see Valley. Put the deal to him, him, didn't they? But did Khan knock, knock it back then? I don't know, I think, I think, uh, no, Kel knocked it back, oh, he made him an offer. Back. Oh, right. Mm, right. Uh, you're talking, uh, there were millions on the table, and it'd been alright then, two and a half a year ago, but it's gone now, when Nobody it? cares now, the Khan's gone down, what's Khan doing? He's boxing somebody for an exhibition or something, seven million. Seven million? To buy or something like Can that. Can you blame him? No, no, oh, he's not bothered, he's a superstar, exactly. isn't he? seven million. And you know what, if Kel had beat him, and he'd been in a good fight, then they've got a rematch, which would and then they got more yeah. money, man. Exactly. exactly. If Kel come, if the Kel does fight again, and I personally don't think he'll fight again. Yeah. If he fights again, he's got to fight your ears, people like that, and your top 154 man. And he's not. Charlos, is it? Are you good on record as saying you don't think he'll fight? Again? I don't think he'll fight again, Kel, bro. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't think he'll fight again. Well, he's made plenty of money, which is he's good. Not. I like him. And do you know what? He could have been our Terry Norris, couldn't he? Exactly. Exactly. What a talent. You know, sad, isn't it? And he never had that Ingle style as well, did he? He had his own style, yeah, didn't he? There were little style. bits of it, he yeah. could switch. Yeah, he could switch. But, yeah. he, but he was pressing forward, he had all moves. Like, fire, they're right? all technically good kids yeah. from there. You yeah. were technically good, weren't all you, Glenn? Good. Just you were badly matched. <laughs> Wouldn't train. <laughs> like training. You've got to train. Listen, you've got to train. Listen, it doesn't matter how much ability you've got, if you don't want to train, and you don't enjoy training, you might as well forget it. You see, I remember Kel Brook when he got into pound for pound ring magazine top yeah. ten. You yeah. know, a few years ago, about yeah. four years ago, and I was thinking, Kel Brook, pound for pound ring magazine. Yeah. I mean, you've got Kel Brook, Lennox, Barry McGuigan, Froch, Atten, Carl Zaggy. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm here, can't get in there. I think there's about seven or eight from yeah. Britain that have ever been in that top ten. Is it? Kel Brook got in the top ten oh for, uh, uh, for, a few, for a few months and he didn't capitalise on it. They fed him Joe Joe Jan, Kevin Bizier, Frankie yeah. Gavin, yeah. Yeah. and then Golovkin and Spen. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I know. Who's I know. 
advising these people? I don't know. Well, it's the money, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I feel for uh, Kel, mate. I what a but, talent. But at least he's made the money. Yeah, he's a lot of could have made a lot more. There's a lot of fighters who don't make that chance. We don't get it. that chance. We'll have to go to work when they retire. So hopefully Kel don't have to work again. And fingers crossed he'll uh, keep his finger in the boxing and yeah. no training or I don't know. Talking about him as though he's retired, aren't we? Yeah, and, it, and it's a shame if he it is. It is a shame. It is a shame. Because he's got no How old is it? Is it? What, What's Kel? 31? 32 this year, is he? So it's a shame. Not in the world, is it? It's not in the world, he's still relatively young. John, do you want to be down here, pal? I want to hear He's in, he's in, please. He's in the Jamie McDonald club now. He's in the, we've been up there, we've had mega money, why should we fight for this? Exactly, but... Elite the, fighters are not going to fight for chump change, are they? It depends how much he still wants to be a fighter. Yeah. Or whether he's... Or he's whether, got silver charmers on. Yeah, whether he's had enough. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Time will tell. Let me just... Right, Bailey. Yes, John, oh, it's all right. Good idea, Bailey. I'm Mo like moving on, Glenn, to oh, the... Moving on to the Vegas show, put on by Mr. Robert Aram <laughs> and Mr. Frank Warren, Warren. at yeah. MGM Grand yeah. Vegas. What do you think to I that? Thought it was good. I'm, I'm slowly, surely turning to be a fan of Tyson. He puts his show on. Yeah. You know, he, uh, what he likes in one department, he makes up for yeah. entertainment, singing to his girlfriend, puts yeah. the show on. And he's a superstar, isn't he? Now, isn't he? Superstar, isn't he? Oh, I think any fighter will tell you, all they ever want to do is box in like Vegas or Madison Square Gardens. And he's done it. Do you know what I'd like to see him do, Glenn? And I've just done a video about it today. I'd like to see Tyson make a stand against these belts. Yeah. Get Wilder, rematch, yeah. beat yeah. him next year, yeah. have the ring belt, because that'll be on the line, yeah. and then say, right, this is all that matters now, ring belt, there's no, no, no sanctioning fees, oh, yeah. and get rid of all that, all that other politics. Yeah, that's what it is, politics. He needs something like Tyson, he says, look, I've beat Wilder, all yeah. the other belts are mine anyway, yeah. get all the belts, throw them in the bin, and get the ring belt, that's what it needs, something to make a stand. But will he be allowed to do that? Well, I hope he do. I hope he is. I hope he is. And like I say, I'm turning. I'm, I'm slowly but surely becoming a fan of his. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's putting bums on seats. Yeah. You know, you, people get up and watch him. Yeah. He's entertaining. Wow. What he likes in one department, he makes up for it. So yeah. you're going to watch him, aren't you? Yeah. And that's what we need. It's like Mike Tyson effect now, isn't it? You want to watch it because you don't know what's yeah, going to happen. Yeah, yeah, you know, you'd expect him. There's always, a, there's always that chance of a train wreck. Yeah. Which you never know. But. Yeah, you can take a shot, you can get yeah. turns, and that's what boxing is. What what bothered me about the show were no world title fight, yeah. opponent one up to scratch, yeah. even though he's only three yeah. and he's twenty quid. Yeah. But I had a problem with that. I did. Well, that's I where that's where boxing is going, isn't it? It is. It's sad. That, that twenty quid that does really you know, it doesn't yeah, 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 You yeah. sit there and you watch it. It's over in five minutes. Yeah. Forget yeah. the entrance and, and at the beginning and yeah. at the end. They had to do all that to polish the turd. Exactly, exactly. The turd was the opponent. It's still a turd, isn't it? It's, still it's a, a polished turd. You can chuck glitter on it. And you can, can talk, yeah, you yeah. can dress it up how you want it. It's still what it is. It's shit. Which is, which is what it is. But that kit won't be a sparring partner for Tyson. No. And at the end, he, he offered him a job, didn't he? He said, come partner. and train as a sparring partner. I thought that was nice of him. Though. That was nice of him, so but it also showed you what they thought of that kid because he wouldn't have said that to Dylan White, would he? Come and be a sparring partner. No, yeah, he wouldn't have said yeah. that. No. So that for me, it were over promoting it for PR, but they dug the centre and all with yeah. that. But well, then again, we can analyse everything they do, can't of course we? we can. But it's 20 quid pay per view. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't sit right. Don't no, you don't sit right with no, me. Right. No, not for that kind of fight. No. So, but, hey. but it won. It won. And the show rolls on. They're going to fight somebody else out of the top 15, and then they're going to be Wilder. They're going to say, Mark. Will it be in America, you reckon? Yeah, he's, got, he's yeah. having all his fights in America. Uh, he? well. He's got four fights left with ASPN. Has he, has he signed a deal with Bob Aaron? Yeah, yeah, five right. fights. He's got one in September, maybe one at Christmas. Yeah. Personally, I think it'll be one more this year, but if he has two more this year, that'll be free, Dad. Wilder 4, and then probably a rematch with Wilder. Well, could get out of boxing then if you want. Well, fingers crossed. But if he gets out of boxing, what's he going to do? Oh, 
we've seen what he does when he comes out of box. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's the problem with a lot of fighters. Yeah. Just because they've got a financial backing or financial support to come out of it, what do the boxers do when they retire? Go no. for Got to Not every ex-boxer can, can get in the gym and open the gym and be a boxing trainer. Look at yeah. Bomber. Yeah. It's sad. I think more boxers need to get back in the game. Boxing people. Mm. But it's not It's not easy. Are you, are you having anything to do with this home they're trying to get for Bomber Day? I'll do anything I can for Errol. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, I will. I'll do anything it's I can. It's a bit brave what we're trying to do in England, you think? It is. But, you know, I think the thing is... We are, okay. Uh, I think the thing is, it's good that that's what I'm trying to do. But it's not just the home, it's a lot, there's a lot more to do now. Yeah. You know, you can't just. It's a brilliant thing what we're doing. Yeah. What we need, boxers need education. Yeah. You know, what to do, what to do after you finish your yeah. What are you going to do? You know, what to do with your money if you're earning any money at the time? Put it away, pay your tax. There's a lot more education involved in box. It's less than 3% who are comfortable will get out of the game, isn't it? 3%? It's less than that, probably. How many fighters do you know don't have to work when the career's over? It's not many. A few in the you from, you can count targets, people That's like that. Yeah. What, I, what I have a problem with, and I've mentioned this before, uh, there's no pension. No pension. There's no brain scans after sparring. No Every gym that has yeah. sparring should have a summer here at ND where you say, come here, let's yeah. have a look. Yeah, yeah, you're all right. With only seven grand, aren't they, to buy? But who's going to buy it? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, the board. The board aren't going to buy it. Well, for them to go for all the country, it's seven million pounds. Right. So rather than spending two million on a home for them, we could do that. He needs somebody to come in and he's... Yeah, he does. He does. Do that, it? It? And I hope somebody can come along with some money and look after fires. Yeah. It, there's nothing worse than seeing an ex fire Yeah, on his arse. It's sad. World champion like Joe Lewis, who ended up as a greeter at Lord Palace. Palace. Yeah, greeting. Greeting, greeting, greeting people. Right. The, 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 one of the greatest heavyweights that's ever lived. Joe yeah. Lewis is a greeter. Because yeah. he's, he's, he's on his arse. It's sad, isn't it? Yeah. But, hey, but other than that, everything's alright. Looking well, forward to that. three weeks. So it's three weeks to go. Well, Tommy three Frank, three Keenan Wainwright, and Kane uh, Salve. Salve. We've all just walked in. We've all just walked in. And Leon Musson. So we've all just walked in. Nice and early. I'm coming all early, boys. <laughs> oh, alright. Good. Well, that's alright then. Well, at least you're early. Are they doing tickets, Glenn? Alright. I don't know. How's the whole tickets going, boys? They all say all right. Nobody ever tells you how many. We need to know how many. How many? Oh, I have to report you to Dennis. Yes. <laughs> we need some. Have you? That's you right. you not. Three weeks to go. That's, that's all right. Good, man. Man. That's, that's all right, isn't it? You good. Good. Were you looking at doing hundred, Keenan? I don't want to do hundred yet. You did more than that last time, did you? Hundred and forty. Hundred and twenty. Something. You've got to aim for one fifty, yes. mate. Yeah. You've got to push them. Uh, yeah, let's get him pushed and let's get this show. So I can't, we can't, I can't hear Tommy it. Frank saying nothing. Maybe he's sat around. Tommy's for gone quiet over there with Again. his tickets. Again, yeah, scared. No, I'm looking forward to it. Like yeah. said, three weeks, um, and he's great. Oh, Top, I don't know, boxing in your own town. Yeah. 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 Oh, brilliant. Oh, All right then. Well, listen. Good. Back nice to see you, as always. Have a cup of tea. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Yeah, keep on. Uh, right then.